Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm actually I'm actually at the uh, Cycle Springs Auxiliary Auxiliary Lot at their boat service center, and this is a uh, Yamaha 242. You can see how nasty the oxidation is. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna give it a waterless wash real quick to clean it up a bit and then i'm going to go right into trying to test a few different things uh, one of which is going to be my universal all-in-one which i've had great luck on gel coat with recently as you've probably seen my last two boat detailing videos so like i said cycle springs boat service center in oldsmar florida and uh, this really, really pasty oxidized blue is about to get some loving. Uh, first step is uh, waterless wash with some really heavily diluted Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. You can see those nasty scratches and gouges. Do what I can to remove those. The top portion isn't real bad, so I'm actually not real worried about that. It's definitely this oxidation that's nasty. So I've got my little kit ready and uh, I'm going to go ahead and not waste any time. I'm going to get it waterless washed so that I've got a clean slate to start polishing with. Uh, we're going to give it a go first with uh, the Universal All-in-One, like I said, with the uh, dual action polisher, the Harbor Freight job down in there. We'll see how that works out. Um, I think it's gonna work out pretty good, so we shall see. All right, enough babbling, time to start working. Okay, so I did just a couple different tests. You can see it obviously is improved. I used the uh, Harbor Freight DA with uh, the orange pad right here on the bottom between the tape, and then I used the uh, Buff and Shine wool with the uh, Universal All-in-One on the top. Um, the top was cut just slightly better, but that Universal All-in-One with foam really did a great job. It just, for the level of what I produce, that is not necessarily uh, making me happy. So I'm gonna step it up. Uh, I'm going to try a couple different things and I guess I'll get back to you on what I end up with but for an all-in-one polish to remove that much oxidation and produce that kind of shine I'm very happy with that however this can look better and it will definitely look better before I say I'm done so I'm going to go ahead and put the tape back up and then um, try a couple more things see if I can get the clarity uh, back on that area so more testing here we come all right now we're cooking with fire um, you can see how amazing it looks but you can also see that those vinyl stripes basically the sun fade everywhere around them is uh, pretty considerable and obviously there's none because the UV rays were blocked by the vinyl uh, where the vinyl was at. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep polishing. I just talked to um, the management here just to confirm that you know this is gonna be what the customer gets and uh, they'll give the, him the option to put the vinyl back on. Um, but if you'll notice, all the oxidation is gone. That's the heavy, nasty, hazy oxidation. It's pretty crystal clear. So all the oxidation is off. Now, the only thing I had to do to, to step up from the Universal All-in-One, and the reality is the Universal All-in-One did great. In fact, I could probably do two steps with the All-in-One uh, and it would be just like this. However, I don't have that kind of time and it makes, that's just silly when uh, all you gotta do is just step up to the brand new uh, water-based and VOC-free can't even see um, anyway infinite cut is what I used to get that end result and uh, I believe that I'm gonna go ahead and rock and roll with that with the uh, Harbor Freight DA and 
the orange buff and shine pad not a thing wrong with that uh, what I did do though is we did a waterless wash uh, with diluted infinite use detail juice one and then I found that giving it a solid scrub down with a microfiber towel excuse me a towel and the universal clean and prep really made the surface easier to polish so you can see that looks amazing and now I'm gonna keep on keeping on time to get back to work we got we got Vanna the beauty Tony over here Tony the beauty Vanna whatever you want to call it so I have legit all I'm using is the Harbor Freight DA right here with orange pad that's the flat five inch low po, low pro pad um, an infinite cut we did a waterless wash like I men mentioned already to uh, remove the any dirt or salt that's on the surface uh, but then right after that we went ahead and did the um, oh is that the darkening situation it sure is look at that now it looks better figured out something new with the camera there we go I lightened it up the other day because uh, we were working on a boat in a really dark space and it's much brighter in here so now you can see things better all right so now that you can see what's going on the focus is working better and all of that um, after the infinite use detail juice one diluted uh, waterless wash um, I had Tony go ahead and go behind it with the universal clean and prep and it, it really makes it easier to polish that universal clean and prep is pretty awesome it removes any and everything from the surface much like isopropyl alcohol would uh, but it also leaves behind this primer which seems to be helping the polishing process as well so huge results huge results so that's where we're at right now and i am legit about to continue on this polishing adventure all right there you go boys and girls it's a uh, yamaha 242 it did not look this way a few hours ago it looks amazing i got rid of all the heavy oxidation well i got all the oxidation gone and then so what ended up happening is i was using infinite cut on the other side which is a great auto compound that's exactly what it's for um, that is what it is marketed for and all of that it's a great auto compound but it works really well on gel coat also but it should be used as a step below the gel coat uh, oxidation eater and you can see how awesome it looks on this side you can definitely still tell where the vinyl decal was again um, this is sun faded this is not that's the difference um, there's just no way to get around it unfortunately uh, I polished all the top area we did not do the interior of this boat it was literally just a compounding and polishing job uh, with a little bit of protection uh, this is a customer's boat so uh, as far as that boat goes um i would imagine the customer is going to be very happy so infinite cut was what i was using initially to do this half when i got to this back half uh the oxidation was a little bit heavier well i should say a lot heavier so i had to up the ante a little bit if you will i ended up using uh i still use the harbor freight da for a little bit but i did switch to the uh, rotary the DeWalt 849X. It's fantastic. It's a little heavy, but it's uh, it's a fantastic rotary. So I used a wool pad, a medium aggressive wool pad, and the rotary with the gel coat um, oxidation eater on the back of this half, and then the full other side. And then I used the Harbor Freight DA with a orange buff and shine pad to polish to refine the uh, compounding step and enhance the clarity I use the orange buff and shine five inch pad with the universal all-in-one uh, I did not feel like solitaire was a good option for this boat because all I was looking for was uh, 
a little bit more clarity, not necessarily uh, to cut anymore. So I skipped over that and went straight for the Universal All-in-One, which you can see did a fantastically amazing job. But that's it. That's what hours and hours of uh, compounding and polishing looks like. But it looks fantastic now compared to how it did. Uh, we're just doing the final touch up on just the back area right now just to make it look more uniform. So just cleaning that area up, but the compounding and polishing, that's where we shined on this detail, literally. It's pretty stoked about that. Um, there were some scratches. I couldn't do a lot with them. They're really deep. Um, on the other side, you'll find when they remove these decals, they actually use the scouring pad in this area. You'd be hard pressed to see where it's at now because I really focused at getting it out, but it looks great. I'm happy with it. I got a lot of those scratches out. So I'm sure the customer will be happy as well. Anyway, Yamaha 242 jet boat, looking amazing. All right, thank you guys so much for taking the time to listen to me babble and watching these videos. I am back out at it full-time detailing. Uh, my factory where we produce, bottle label, pack and ship all my products, fully staffed, working well. I'm on the road. I'm doing what I've always done and showing you guys how to use my products in the real world, either as an enthusiast or a pro detailer, doesn't matter. Real world results are what I'm all about when I manufacture products, when we formulate, when we design products. I'm all about what's it going to be like in the real world. And the reality is other manufacturers don't feel that way. They want it to work well in a closed environment with lots of very well with very few variables and then those are the before and after shots those are the demos they do in a very controlled environment everything i produce has to work in the florida sun or i just won't won't release it and that's the bottom line so thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate each and every one of you guys who allow me the opportunity to earn your business either as a product customer or a service customer. I truly appreciate the opportunity that you guys give me each and every day to do what I love each and every day. So thank you guys so much for that. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And uh, there'll be a whole lot about these boats I've been polishing in the group. So if you want to learn boat detailing, you want to learn car detailing, you want to learn detailing in general, that's what I do. I show you how to make money detailing, period. It's hard work, but with really good processes and even better products, um, you can get jobs done quickly, efficiently, make that money and move on to the next one because that's what I'm about. So thank you guys so much again. Have a wonderful day.